Hey everybody, it's um, Wednesday, July 5th, and you're here at the DEI Working Group, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Working Group for Chaos. Um, quick reminder for the three of us that are here, <laughs> these meetings are all under our Chaos Code of Conduct. And this meeting here is where we talk about um, things related to diversity, equity, and inclusion in chaos, um, either our metrics or things internally to the Chaos Project. We also talk about badging in this meeting, so that means event badging and now project badging. So we, all of those things get lumped into this meeting. Um, we do have a super light agenda and super light attendance today, as you can see, um, since it was a holiday yesterday in the US, I think um, several people were taking this week off. So no worries at all. We have um, just a couple things to go over and then you all can have your the rest of your day back. <laughs> the rest of your hour back, I should say. Um, so the first thing I just wanted to make sure everyone knew is that the next um, Badger orientation is going to be next week on Tuesday, July 11th at 12 o'clock U.S. Central Time, and that does come right after the community meeting. So the community meeting will end, and then we usually take like a 10-minute break in between meetings, and then it'll we'll come right back for that um, orientation meeting. So. So that's that. Any questions on that from either of you? No. Okay. Um, so pretty pretty straightforward. I do have a form if anyone does want to fill it out to join, but you can also just show up. You don't have to um, fill out that form. Um, Katie, did you fill out the form to be a Badger after your orientation? Mm -hmm. No, I, okay. I'm not sure right now what I have for time commitment with this okay. new, and I need to discuss, I know my last position, they gave, they allotted me four hours a week to chaos, and I'm trying to figure out what that is now with this. Yeah, yeah that's totally valid. That is completely valid. So no worries on that whatsoever at all. I, I have um, pretty much a um, open letter to go to any chaos con that's hosted now, though. So Yay! Awesome. To awesome. go awesome. speak at any conference I want. So <laughs> let me know where you need me. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, probably not till next year, although we haven't really talked about it, but I don't think we're, I know, I know we're not doing a chaos con in Europe. Um, with OSSEQ, yeah. but I know that some chaos folks will be there. So if you're going, you can say hi. I, I am um, going to pass on that one since Intersource Commons backed out of their event around that too. Oh, but okay. because I was also invited to Grace Hopper. And, oh, nice. Awesome. And I figured that the two day gap between the two conferences was not enough time for recovery between Europe and the US. <laughs> No, definitely so, not. You need a little more of a break. So I'm going to go to Grace Hopper instead. Nice. Awesome. Um, okay, uh, so that's this item here. The second item is just a quick update on project badging. Actually, two quick updates. Um, we These meetings, they're, um, they started out as like logistical coordination meetings with the all-in folks in GitHub. Um, but these are now open and they're on the chaos calendar. So anyone is, I should put this on here, on the chaos calendar. Um, and so that we can just join on this channel that you're here at, um, just our regular, <clears throat> excuse me, our regular Zoom channel. Um, and those happen on Mondays at 10 a.m. Um, we are, so it, it might be kind of boring, but it might be interesting to you. I don't know, a lot, a lot of it is logistical um, things that we work out with regard to the to how the um, project badging is going to work and um, we have a pilot project that is um, not in chaos and <laughs> so not one of our repos that we're testing on um, they're gonna they're an actual real um, open source project and they're gonna go through the DEI badging um, or yeah the DEI project badging uh, program with us. So on Monday, July 10th, we are going to be meeting with this person and um, just explaining like what is a DEI.md file and how does it work. 
and then we're going to give them a little uh, a little while to write their dei.md file um because that will take some time and then once they're finished with that then we'll be able to go through the automated badging process with them um, hopefully they will be able to receive their bronze badge and also there's going to be a report generated from auger that scans um, their communications in their repo and um, maybe offers some um, things to consider for um, for the future so um, there's a lot of machine learning involved in that and a lot of automation so uh, we'll see how it goes we'll see what the pain points are and and how well it works and take that feedback and iterate on the project so for the next pilot project or the next pilot yeah pilot open source project that we do so there's that questions on that It's kind of exciting to see it actually start to happen <laughs> like it's starting to become a little bit more real so yeah and there will also be I should also put this update in here as well. Um, there will be a website on the all in website for this, so we have our DEI event badging website that folks are working on, and then we have the DEI project badging which folks are working on. And the project badging is going to go on the all in website, which is this all in source. Stuff. So, so yeah, we're working with the GitHub folks to um, to get that up and, and published. So questions on that. No questions, no questions, no questions. All right. Um, what else is there other things to talk about? Hello. Hi, Henrietta, do you have something on your mind? You can add it if you want to the agenda. Yeah, um, no, I, I, I want to ask how I can get involved in the project bargain. Do I just join the meeting or you have like working groups that I can join? Yes, yeah, so for project badging um, right now, really the it would be here or else um, the Monday meeting. That I mentioned um, before and then also make sure you're in this badging. Uh, the badging channel our slack channel. Oops. There we go. Um, because there are some like conversations in that and um, there might be things that you know we put in there that were like hey can can people look at this in general and just see how it reads or see how it flows um, things like that so that would be where that would go um, and then occasionally oh my gosh what happened here oh hold on hold on hold on are you guys there <laughs> sorry my whole my whole computer just shut down for a minute. So yeah, sorry. Um, we also do we also do work in the in this channel, which you all sh are probably in already. But this is the channel for the working the DEI working group. So I would say if it's something um, because we are going to be building out metrics that go in the higher levels. So we're starting with bronze, and there's four metrics that go in that level. And um, which I can actually show you all somewhere. Um, I don't want that. I want all in this. So these are the. Where is this? I think it's just in all in. Yeah, right here. So this is the um, sample. DEI.md file that we're having everyone um, everyone work on or work from, I should say. Here's the minutes. Somebody asked for those in the in the chat. Um, so the four, um, sorry, the four metrics are project access, communication, transparency, newcomer experiences, and inclusive leadership. So we're starting with those four metrics at the bronze level. And then for the next level, which would be silver, we're going to add maybe one or two more metrics, which we have not decided yet. 
And then for gold, which is the next level up, we'll add a couple more metrics in. And then platinum, there'll be a few more metrics added in as well. So by the time a project is getting to that platinum level, their DEI.MD file, you're welcome, that DEI.MD file is going to be pretty meaty. Like it's going to be pretty long and attend to like maybe 10 different metrics. But along the way, we're going to definitely need help deciding what metrics to go in those higher levels. And if they don't exist, we're going to need to um, start to build those out a little more. And we, we do talk about it every now and again here in this meeting as well, um, besides on Slack. And we, I know a few weeks ago, we really talked in great depth because we were trying to figure out what the next metric was to work on. So here's kind of what we had started with. Um, we ended up not really landing on the same things um, after some, some conversations, but feel free to kind of scroll back down through the uh, DEI working group minutes and see kind of what that conversation went, how that went. So some things we might add in are things like code of conduct and code of conduct enforcement, because we don't actually specifically request that or require that or ask about it. And we will, like we should. <laughs> so, so that's gonna probably be in the next level. Um, <clears throat> asking them if they're doing some kind of internal review or audit on their DEI practices, um, inclusive language, recognition of contributions, expanding on some accessibility, and then um, how they attend to non-code contributions as well. So those were just some ideas that we were throwing out. Some of these things we do have metrics for already, but some we don't. So, um, so that'll be some future conversations. So that's a really, really long answer <laughs> to you about how you can get involved. But really, I think it's just kind of like continuing to show up and these um, conversations will just grow organically and opportunities will present themselves. What other questions do we have or things to talk about? Like I said, super light agenda today, um, which is okay, sometimes it is. So if we don't have anything else, like I'm not gonna make you all just sit here for, <laughs> for the rest of the hour, just to like stare at each other. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, Henrietta is gonna check out the recording. Yeah, we will post this to our YouTube channel. So if you're not um, subscribed, I usually also post the meeting summaries and a link to the recordings in the Slack channel as well. So um, make sure you're in Slack and you'll get all of that. Um, and then there'll be a link to the recording there too. Yes, actually, let me put that, the DEI.MD file, I will put that in here. There you go. And that's what we're, we're asking projects to use as like the template, a sample. So that's, that's the file that will get scanned by um, Enoch and his team are working on a bot that will scan that file automatically and check for things like to make sure that the head there's all the headings are there and that it's not just this the exact same as a sample and also that it's not just like garbage that it actually is words <laughs> and actually makes sense so that's what his team is working on and then um, that will actually be the basis for the badge so as long as it passes that check then they'll get the badge and then the report that they're going to get in email is just kind of like an extra thing to help the maintainers um, just have more insights about their communities. So, yeah, so it's kind of like a two two phase two phase thing. So we're starting with the, just the badge, like, let's just make sure the badge part works <laughs> and then we'll, we'll move on to the report, but it'll be quick because I think the report's about ready to go as well. So. So yeah, any other questions, comments? Um, excuse me, Elizabeth. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm pretty much uh, cool. Thank you. 
Uh, I just wanted to ask, um, where did you send the link to the whole in uh, MD5? MD5? Oh, I put it in, yeah, I put it in the minutes. So, um, okay, we, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Thank you. I, I can also drop it in, um, in the chat here. Would that be helpful? I mean, we're getting yes, ready to do okay, yes, I'll pop it right here. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. And that is a file that's um, open, of course. So if you see something that could be better in that file, like a typo or it's like confusing or something like that, feel free to open a, a pull request or open an issue in that repository. Um, that's it's completely a community effort. So happy to get any feedback on that file as well. All right. Well, I think we've pretty much covered everything. So I guess we can wrap up. You get half an hour back. Yay. You can go take a nap or take a walk or have a drink. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's after five for some of you. So yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> How was uh, the 4th of July do? Yeah, we, yes, 4th of July was, was very fun um for us anyway we did the whole we we went full full american here in this house <laughs> which is we had the you know cookout and the hot dogs and the corn on the cob and fireworks and yeah it was fun nice okay. nice nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was just very hot so you know this is like uh yeah and then all of my i have to to, I know we're still recording, but I have two kids and um, their friends were over and then my granddaughter, who was two, um, was of course there. So she went down for a nap and then we all played Mario Kart and, <clears throat> you know, my kids just don't respect their elders because they just absolutely destroyed me in Mario Kart. So yeah, <laughs> there, was, there was some gaming involved and grandma needs to up her game a little bit. I think I need to practice or something. I don't know. <laughs> They're all grounded, all of them. They're all grounded. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're too old for that now, but oh, if I could, I would. All right, anyway, um, okay. Take your 30, min 30 minutes back and um, I will probably see you all later at some point, either tomorrow or next week. Um, yeah, so have a great rest of your day and I'll see everybody later. Thank you. Have a good Thank one. Thank you, Elizabeth. Bye. Bye. Bye.